Hi there folks, Andrew at Chatfield, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Instagram Direct Entry Point. And you're probably asking, well, Andrew, what exactly is that? Why should I care? Essentially, the Instagram Direct Entry Point allows you to react to, to respond to, the very first message a user sends you after your chatbot is connected. So for that reason, it's very important because first impressions matter, right? So without further ado, let's jump in and show you how to set this up. So here we are in Flow Builder. I'm going to click the big plus button here to add a new flow, an Instagram flow. And once we're in there, we're going to add the Instagram direct entry point. So I'm gonna collapse the side panel, give us some more working space, move this over and double click on the canvas to add the Instagram direct entry point. So I'm going to move this up here and there we go. So there are really four levels, four layers to the Instagram direct entry point. At the very top here, we have frequently asked questions, all first messages, first messages with keywords, and then next time user messages you. So all four of these components are very important, but before I dive into them, I do wanna preface this video by saying that keep in mind, the Instagram direct entry point is, believe it or not, optional. If you're overwhelmed or confused at any point in this video, fear not, you can actually have a fully functioning Instagram chatbot just by using the setup AI keywords in that tab. So again, if anything gets overwhelming, don't worry. You can simply set up different keywords for different campaigns that you wanna run or different messages that you expect a user to send to you. And your chatbot can work entirely through AI. You don't need to use this entry point. But because you're curious, because you're watching this video, let's talk a little bit more in depth about how these four layers of the entry point work. So first, let's cover frequently asked questions. As you would imagine, these are different frequently asked questions that you can input. So just with a click of a button, the click of a quick reply, it's a bit of a tongue twister, the user can send that question and get a quick answer. So let's show you how that works. Very straightforward. That's the simplest part of this entry point. So I'm gonna click to add FAQ option. And let's say that we're an e-commerce store. So we'll input a couple of FAQs right here, right? So as one example, let's say, do you have a discount? And let's put in just one more here just for sake of demonstrational purposes. And let's say I need to track my order. Okay, right, so two FAQs here, very simple. And then to create a corresponding answer, a corresponding response, we can just click and drag on each of these connectors, drag them over to this block, and then there we can write our response, right? So I'll click add content text, and we can say something like, get 5% off your first order with the discount code five off, right? We could obviously make this much more advanced by asking the user for their email or their phone number before we give them the discount. But again, this is just super simple for demonstrational purposes. So we're all set up now with the FAQs. Obviously you could create a list of multiple FAQs here to really respond to the majority of messages you're getting, but in this case, we'll keep it simple. So I'm gonna delete this other FAQ here for the time being. Okay, cool. So that's the FAQ level. Again, very, very simple. The first time a user messages you after the bot is connected, provided they haven't messaged you previously, they don't have an open conversation with your page, they'll see these buttons, these FAQs, they click, they get the response. Easy peasy. Now, let's next talk about first messages with keywords. I'm gonna skip over all first messages for now and you'll see why in a second. So they can either click on one of these buttons or the user can obviously freely type in a message that first interaction after the bot is connected. So let's say instead of having a question about a discount, they have a question about shipping, right? So if they ask a question about shipping, we're going to input the uh, some keywords here in this keyword group. So we can type in some keywords like shipping, track my order, et cetera. And then if the user sends a free form message, they just type out whatever they want in their own message rather than clicking this button, then we can respond accordingly, right? So now let's click this connector again, drag it over, and we can provide another response. So here, if we wanna get a little bit more advanced, we could choose text and quick replies, and we can ask them, you know, what's your order number? And we could save that to an attribute called, you know, order number, and continue the conversation from there, right? So, so far we've talked about two of the layers, right? 
FAQs, the user can click one of those buttons, get the response. If they don't click one of those buttons though, they freely type in a message and it matches one of these keywords, then we can send them a tailored relevant response based on what they were typing. Now let's take it one step further. So let's say the user has a question about sizing, right? Let's say you sell t-shirts or shoes, let's go with shoes. So you sell shoes and the user has a question about sizing. So again, imagine this is their very first time interacting with your business after the bot is connected. So they're not gonna type or click rather this FAQ. They're not gonna type either of these keywords. They're gonna ask a question about sizing. So in this case, you don't have sizing set up as this button or this keyword. So then what's gonna happen is the bot is gonna send this all other first messages or all first messages. In other words, this is kind of a fallback. So if these other criteria are not met in the first message, then it's gonna to go to this generic first message. So in this case, I'm going to, again, you guessed it, click the connector here, drag it over. And since it doesn't match any of these other responses, we can just bring the user to a generic main menu where they can then progress down the conversation and try to get more help, right? So I'll click send message again. And as mentioned, we could create a main menu here where we have text and quick replies. We say, uh, you know, welcome, how can we help you? And then we could, you know, really provide some more detailed responses or detailed pathways for the user to go down. So we could have something like, you know, sizing chart. I don't know what else, um, you know, deals, et cetera, et cetera. So then in this main menu is where we would have all of those other options as kind of a fallback if the bot doesn't understand. And then finally, you might be asking this fourth layer here, next time user messages you. So as I mentioned, the Instagram direct entry point here only applies to the very first message a user sends to your Instagram account after the bot is connected. But let's say on the second message and onward, if the user types in a phrase again, it's not gonna go back to the Instagram direct entry point here and look for these phrases here and then respond. Instead, it's gonna go to the setup AI tab and any keywords that you have set up here. Right? So it's very important to keep in mind if at this point in the conversation, when the user's on the main menu, if they type shipping, it's not gonna go and send them this response here. Instead, you're gonna need that keyword set up in the setup AI tab, and then it will continue the conversation if the user enters one of those keywords, and it'll go from that point on. Now, a uh, couple other things to mention here. First, before you actually set this live, this entry point live, you'll want to toggle it on right here. So you'll just click to activate the entry point and sync changes to Instagram, and then you're all set up. At this point, the entry point, all these frequently asked questions and the keywords will be live on your Instagram account. So at that point, you can start you know, promoting your chatbot because before you toggle on that entry point, it will not be active. Also, one other very important thing to mention, if you are using the Instagram direct entry point, make sure that you have any keywords for campaigns that you're running available in both the keyword groups here in the Instagram direct entry point, but again, also in the setup AI tab. So imagine that you're running a Black Friday campaign, right, for your e-commerce store. If you only have the keyword Black Friday set up here in the Instagram direct entry point, that's great but it'll only work for people when they send that initial message to your Instagram account. In other words, if somebody has previously messaged your bot, it's not gonna work because that keyword is not also in the setup AI tab. So again, if you are running any sort of campaigns and you're using keywords to activate those campaigns, great, make sure you include them in the Instagram direct entry point here, but also don't forget to set them up in the setup AI tab or vice versa, if you already have them set up in the setup AI tab, those keywords, make sure you also include them here because otherwise you might not be allowing everyone who wants to you know, engage with your campaign to do so. So again, in a nutshell, that is the Instagram direct entry point. It allows you to respond to those very first initial messages you get from people who are messaging your Instagram account after your bot has been connected. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, until next video, happy botting.